Hello everyone. I we are back and I am doing a, a video a long time been doing. I wanted to make a unboxing vi an unboxing video of a product that I didn't see a whole lot of. This guy right here. The Sparkle Elf Intel Arc A380. Uh yes, it's a GPU and just got it today and I thought I'd put a video make a video before I start doing the thing so let's look around the box uh, yep it's rather small it's a small little GPU as we'll see hopefully here in a little bit uh, here's the back um, yeah it just gives you details compact size single fan it's got three display port Ports 2.0 and one HDMI 2.0 and minimum system requirements uh, 350 watt power supply. Let's see, PCIe compliant uh, needs a 10th gen Intel Core processor or higher. Uh, at least that's what it says. I mean, there might be a way to get around that. And it's got some other features here. So, yeah, that's the box. Just came in, Sparkle, it's, uh, I think Sparkle, the company, they used to make GPUs a while back, but they kind of got out of that game, but now they're back in with the Intel. And, um, yeah, don't see a lot, I think a lot of these are sold on UEG, I think Amazon might have some. Um, but, yeah, you can see the picture of it, so let's, uh, I'll put this right here, so just to cover the, the important details of it. So let's pop it open here, shall we? Unbox it and see what we've got. My nifty little scissor thing here. There we are. All right. She's unsealed. And as we open the box, this is what you get. Uh, get this card, and I think this card has a code on the back, but hey, we get some games. All right. In fact, I got this game with uh, Intel, uh, Intel Days of Gaming or something, have a couple more, a couple more um, games coming. So yeah, it's nice. There's a little card in a little box, nothing fancy. It's actually cardboard packing, no, no foam as I'm used to seeing on my higher end cards that I have. Cards in a nice uh, wrapping. Let's see what else is down here. Hopefully I'm okay. You can see all this. Nothing else in the box. That is it. All right. The card itself. Let's take it out. And you can have a close-up look at it. And I'll tell you the reason why I went with this model, by the way. I think ASRock makes this model. I think there's a Gunner model as well. And then Sparkle makes them. Here she is. Uh, kind of light. It's got a little heft to it. Not too bad. Kind of disappointed they don't have a cover for the PCIe uh, pins, but oh well. And here's the top. You can see that. Hope it's uh, focused okay. The top you see Sparkle and then Intel Arc. Single fan on the I.O. side you see Sparkle written out right there. It is a dual slot card as you can see. With dual goes into your PC that way. There's the, the DPs and the HDMI's right there. DPs there. There's the back of it. It's a kind of a blue PCB, which is kind of cool. It's kind of nice. You usually see a black or whatever. Um, on this side, there you go. Now, the reason I bought this model, although the ASRock Challenger A380 has a, I think it's a 6 or 8 pin power, external power connector up here. As you see, the Sparkle one does not. And that's what I wanted. 
I wanted a GPU that required no external power, like uh, you know the best one used to be the 1050 Ti GTX. Uh, so this one will run without any external power. It'll take the power right out of the PCIe slot and uh, should work well. It should be a lot better, hopefully, than the 1050 Ti. But I think it's comparable to the, I think the 1650, GTX 1650, what I read. Um, and well, it's got a fairly good size um, Good size uh, heat sink in there too. There's the bottom. Sorry, I didn't show that earlier. But um, it's um, what was I going to say? I forgot. Anyway, I think I got this one um, on sale, New Egg, for I think 120 at the time I paid for it in August 2023. I think the retail on it's maybe 140. I think somewhere around there, 140, 150. I don't know. Prices go change so much on these GPUs, it's it's pitiful. But anyway, um, the main reason also I got this card is not really as a gaming GPU. Although if you're going to game, you know you can kind of get away with this card, but I would probably suggest you don't if you're seriously going to be gaming for a while with the new AAA titles. I bought this because I do a lot of video editing. And this is one of the rare cards at its price point that can handle natively AV1, the video codec AV1. It's going to be, a, from what I read, it's going to be a breeze uh, encoding, decoding AV1, H.264, H.265, all that good stuff. And I hear that Intel is uh, progressing and doing better on their drivers, so hopefully this will work with my editing program that I have and all that good stuff. But I wanted you all to see, I looked for videos of this model to see if it had a power, external uh, external power connector. Um, I thought it didn't and now I'm, I'm my thought is proven right. Uh, there is none, as you can see. So, there you are. The Sparkle Elf, Elf, Elf. Sparkle Elf A380 Intel Arc A380. Six gigabytes VRAM. And you can look at all the specs. I don't remember all the specs on the thing. But uh, yeah, I think it got released, I think, last year in 2022. And uh, the um, I don't know what the supply will be for later this year, but I am very lucky to have one and I'm very happy to have it. So that's it. I appreciate you watching, everyone. Hope that. Uh, Helped you if you were interested in this model. Hope that helps you kind of um, make a decision on this thing. And uh, yeah, you can see how it's even shorter than my hand. So if you have a tight IT, ITX case for your PC, this probably fit pretty well. It fit in there and any the other cases for that matter. So thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions or whatever, just uh, leave some comments there. And I'll check them best I can. Hope everybody has a good day. God bless you all and take care.